Ladies and gentlemen, tech enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Roderick here and in this video we are taking a look and rendering our thoughts and impressions of the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 14 inch, the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 16 inch and the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 laptops. We will be diving deep into the specifications, the designs, the performance and the features of these three laptops to help you make an informed decision. So let's get started. Beginning with the design and dimensions, the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 14 inch boasts a sleek and portable design with alloy aluminum material and a brushed finish. The materials used in construction provide a premium feel with your choice of color in moonstone gray and platinum silver. This 14 inch laptop measures at 12.29 inches wide by 8.8 .8 inches deep by 0.45 inches high and weighs just 2.7 pounds. The Galaxy Book 4 Pro 16 inch on the other hand offers a bit larger canvas for more productivity. It measures at 13.99 inches wide by 9.85 inches deep by 0.49 inches high and weighs just 3.43 pounds and it is made up of the same materials as the 14 inch model. Now the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 combines the best of both worlds with its 360 degree hinge, allowing for versatile usage in laptop, tent and tablet modes. It is constructed of the same materials as both the 14 inch and the 16 inch Pro models and comes in the same colors as well. This laptop measures as 13.99 inches wide by 9.9 .9 inches deep by 0.5 inches high and weighs just 3.6 pounds. Moving on to the display, the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 14 inch features anti-reflective wide quad extended graphics array plus an eminent touchscreen with 2880 by 1800 pixel resolution. The screen measures in at 1610 aspect ratio in diameter with a 48 to 120 hertz variable refresh rate, 400 nits of peak color brightness and 120% DCI P3 color volume. The same display specs for the Galaxy Book 4 14 inch you will find for the Book 4 16 inch model as well. Now the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 being a 2-in-1 convertible is also equipped with the same display screen specs as the 14 and 16 inch Pro model and it's also equipped with the touchscreen display. Yet it also comes with an S Pen functionality and the S Pen is included at the time of purchase. Now let's talk about the cameras. All models are equipped with a 2 megapixel 1080p full high definition webcam suitable for video conferencing and online meetings and it comes with a privacy shutter. The Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 being a 2-in-1 device takes it a step further with additional camera features including a rear facing camera making it versatile for creative tasks and capturing the world around you. All the keyboards are backlit equipped. They have a huge Windows Precision Glass trackpad and a full numeric keypad on the right side with a fingerprint touch log on button. These laptops feature advanced speaker systems equipped with AKG quad speakers. The Woofer Max is 5, five watts times 2 and the tweeters are 2 watts times 2. Dolby Atmos that deliver immersive sound quality enhancing the multimedia and entertainment experience. The speakers are located at the bottom of the laptops in all four corners. I will speak a bit more about this later. Now let's talk battery life and charging. The 14 inch laptop in the lineup is powered by a 63 watt hour battery while the two 16 inch ones have a 76 watt hour battery. Now the Galaxy Book 4 Pro and the Book 4 Pro 360 have a 65 watt USB Type-C chargers that comes with all of the laptops. 
I have not been able to find any information that will tell me the exact battery life time per single charge as of yet. That information has not been released. When I do get it, I'm going to post it in, in the comments. Here are the components for each of these three laptops with this breakdown for each one. Now please note, all three of these laptops have the same component configuration, so it applies to all three. Starting off, Windows 11 Home Edition. Intel Core Ultra 5 or Core Ultra 7 Intel Evo Edition. Your choice at the time of purchase as far as your processor. The Intel Arc Graphics Shared Graphics Card. Please understand this is going to be soldered to the motherboard so you can't upgrade the graphics card. You got 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM. Again, your choice at the time of purchase. Your storage is going to be either 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or a 1 terabyte solid state drive PCIe storage. Your choice again at the time of purchase. All of them come with a micro SD expansion card slot, and all of them have studio quality dual microphones. The connectivity for all three of these laptops break down this way Wi Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, one USB Type A port, one HDMI 2.1 port, one 3.5 millimeter headphone and microphone combo jack truly my only knock for these laptops is the quad stereo speaker system layout and location since these speakers are at the bottom of the laptop and the sound is pushed downward towards whatever you rest the laptops on the sound quality to me in my opinion may be a bit muffled Yes, if you're using a cord or wireless headset or earbuds, there is no potential sound loss. But what if you want to enjoy a movie or video and didn't want to use a headset or earbuds? Then some of the sound quality will be a bit muffled. Now, projected release dates for these laptops is estimated between uh, somewhere near the end of the first quarter to about maybe the middle of the second quarter of this year. The projected prices as it stands right now for each of these models, the Galaxy Book 4 Pro, $1,450 USD, the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 16-inch, $1,600 USD, and the Galaxy Book 4 Pro, $316, uh, $1,900 USD. In my conclusion, Samsung's Galaxy Book 4 Pro 14-inch, Galaxy Book 4 Pro 16-inch, and the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 offer a range of choices catering to different user preferences and needs. Whether you prioritize portability, a larger display, or the versatility of a 2-in-1 device, Samsung has tailored these laptops to meet your requirements. We hope that this detailed comparison has provided valuable insights to help you make the right decision for your computer needs. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more tech updates and reviews. If you found this video helpful, informative, and it provided you with effective, useful content, please click that like button, click that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell and join the SRT family. I post new videos on Saturdays. If you want to see more videos like this one, leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment and share your thoughts about this video. Check out the links below in the description box. Watch this video next and check out this playlist. Until next time, I'm Roderick, your host and narrator, and this is Seek Right Tech Reviews.